getting the best sound for your online music lessons using Zoom and an iPad, iPhone, or Android device. Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. I've been posting a series of videos helping teachers to start teaching their music lessons online using a variety of devices and mainly focusing on a video conferencing application called Zoom. Now, one of the limitations up until now has been the fact that you were limited to get the very best audio quality through Zoom. You were limited to using only laptop or desktop computers. Well, as of yesterday, apparently, Zoom has been listening to their customers, and they just introduced an update so that you can actually have the same good audio quality options for iPads, iPhones, and Android devices. So I just heard about it, and I'm going to see if I can walk us through the process of improving the sound on those devices if you're using them for teaching. Now, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just make sure, for those of you who are brand new to Zoom, you still are going to need to log on to your account. If you haven't downloaded Zoom, please go ahead and do so at zoom.us. Download the application for your device. You can also find Zoom in the App Store, but we're going to go through all those steps in just a second. Now, what you're going to need to do on a laptop or a desktop, and I imagine possibly even on a browser on your iPad. In fact, maybe we'll go ahead and test that. I'm going to see if I can go to my browser on my iPad and go into Zoom and see if I can do the settings. What you need to do is you need to go into your account and uh, adjust the meeting settings from your account that way before opening up the actual uh, video conferencing app on any of these devices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and let's test this out. I want to see if I can actually adjust the settings using the browser on my iPad and see if it replicates the same experience. So if you don't have a laptop and you're only using an iPhone or, or an iPad or an Android device, you should be able to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and let's test this out. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So it looks like all of the settings are in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into settings. And then from here, I'm going to go into in meeting advanced. Scroll down. And what you want to see is this section over here. Now, I already have this checked on for my account, but this by default will be set like this. Allow users to select stereo audio in their client settings. And this is the most important one. Allow users to select original sound in their client settings. That's the really important one, okay? So now I've gone to my account on my browser. This is great. Now, if you already have Zoom on your device, you're going to have to uninstall it uh, I'm talking about primarily on your iPad, iPhone, or Android device. So you're going to have to uninstall it. To do that, I'm going to tap and hold the zoom icon until you see one of those options or until it starts to wiggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tip, now tap on the X over here and delete this. All right. On the upper right-hand corner of my iPad, I'm going to tap on Done. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the App Store. And I'm going to re-download the latest version of Zoom. All right. Zoom Cloud Meetings. That's what I want over here. Go ahead and download that. All right. Let's go ahead and open this. Let's see if we can find the new settings. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. All right. Let's see. Settings. Let's see if it's in settings over here. Meetings. Sure, let me make some... <gasps> Look at that! It's here! Look at that! Okay, so let's do this again. Tap on settings in the lower left-hand corner over here. Okay, and go into meetings. All right, and I'm going to scroll down. Okay, and I'm going to look for use original sound. Oh, this is really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's Flipped on, yes. So let me explain what original sound is. Now, I've explained this in other videos, but again, for some of you, if this is your first video watching me explain this, um, video conferencing software is designed for speech. And as such, what it tries to do is it tries to make the speech sound as clear as possible in a couple different ways. It detects changes in volume. When you talk, the microphone will become more sensitive. It will increase the microphone volume. But as soon as you stop speaking, the volume will 
shut itself off or lower itself. That's in an effort to kind of cut down on the background echo and any other room noise so it doesn't interfere with your speech. Great for speaking, terrible for music. In music, we really want to hear all of the sounds, particularly when the music becomes quiet. We don't want shifts in volume as the volume changes, as the dynamics change. It becomes particularly evident when you place very soft, very delicate music. The ends of the, the notes can start to sound really clipped and sound awful, okay? But with the original sound settings within Zoom, what it does, it's not going to do any of those filterings, any of those volume changes. It'll just take the sound as it's being picked up by whatever microphone you're using and just pump it straight through the video conference session, okay? Now keep in mind, that means you're going to hear everything. The echo, the background noise, if your lights happen to buzz, if you've got a hiss in the background, all of that will come through. None of those things will be filtered. And so this may be why some people will complain that their lessons sound terrible, you know, as is, okay? Because you're hearing all this extra sound, all these back echoes. And that's why it's really important to seriously consider getting some sort of a microphone. What you want with a microphone is to have, ideally, the microphone on yourself, if you can have two microphones, or, or some combination of a microphone, so that it picks up your voice more directly, and it also picks up the sound of your instrument. Now, I prefer a two microphone setup, and if you watch my earlier video, I have, I've got two different ways, well, a couple different ways of doing it. You can either do it a very professional way, or there's a cheap way that I actually also recommend. But whatever you choose, in any case, just be aware, turning on original sounds isn't the complete solution. It's a partial solution. It'll at least give you the option to hear everything. And then the final step, of course, will be to decide on whether or not you should invest in a microphone. Okay, so I'll have links to the other videos in the show notes below so that you can make an informed decision. In the previous video, I actually go through a little bit of microphone shopping. So you can actually hear the differences in the sound qualities through various types of microphones, from all the way from the high end to the cheapest end. Okay, so anyway, let's go and start a new meeting. I just wanted to see how this looks like in here. All right, the video is on. Hello, call using internet audio. Click on this and uh, Let's see if there's anything else I need to look at. <gasps> look at that. So when you, when you tap on the more, the little pips, there's three pips on the top right-hand corner over here. T tap on that, and then you want to tap on Enable Original Sound. Ah, we've got original sound coming through. How cool is that, okay? Now, I don't have any microphones attached to this iPad. Um, right now, I'm using my high-end lapel microphone and pumping this through my HD camera over here. So anyway, so this is not representative of what you're actually going to hear. But at least you now know how to access this on your iPad. It should be very similar for an iPhone, and I imagine it's also similar to on an Android device. So once again, make sure the settings are set up in your account using your browser. Once those settings are set up to enable those options, then you're going to want to uninstall Zoom if you already have Zoom so that you can get the latest version with the new updates. And then just follow my instructions and you can set those settings on for yourself, okay? So Zoom, thank you. This is something we musicians really, really appreciate and hopefully you guys find this helpful to make the sound quality of your online music lessons better. And I recommend that you have both yourself and your students adopt these settings to improve the quality of the audio coming through your online lessons. Okay, hope you find this helpful. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe so that I can let you know whenever we have new videos. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.